Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm reviewing the second edition from the protocol lineup. This is the protocol probable cause. This is the Churchill, six and a half by 48. You will notice it is a very dark cigar. Look at it, it's box pressed. There is the density. And you can see as I turn it in the light, you can see the edges. It's a nice, fairly sharp box press. Also, if you look very closely, you can also see it's triple cap. Now this is the second uh, cigar to come out of the uh, Cabrera Kino Cigar Company. This is from Juan Council and Bill Ives. And the cigar pays homage to the police department where both Bill and uh, Juan worked in New York. Now this cigar is made of a San Andreas Mexican uh, Maduro wrapper. The binder and filler are Nicaraguan, and this cigar is also made in the La Zona factory in Esteli under the eyes of Eric Espinoza. Uh, comes in two sizes. The Churchill, which is sort of a Shorter end Churchill, six and a half by 48, and a Robusto, five by 52. Now, I will try to get, uh, Protocol has a lot of sizes, different sizes in the regular Protocol and the um, Probable Cause. I want to try to review all of them because I'm, I'm curious as to what the flavor changes may be. I've already reviewed the uh, Protocol Lancero, and it was fantastic. So... This is the second uh, edition from their protocol line, and uh, it's called the probable cause. So let's get right to it. The protocol probable cause. It's a very nice looking flat head, flat cap there, that it is indeed triple capped. Let's give it a little clip here, try to take off just as little as we can. That is definitely as little as I can. Okay. Good drop. Well, the first flavors are definitely an orange citrus. Coffee, dark chocolate, and sort of a fudge type flavor, which you've got dark chocolate there and fudge. That's sort of different. Has a very nice sweetness in that orange citrus. And it uh, comes across. It's not subtle. Now the darker notes are quite obvious and fairly dominant, but the uh, orange citrus does shine through and it's juicy, it's a juicy orange. So it, it, it really, really tastes good with all the darker notes. So that's sort of how it starts. I'm anxious to see where it goes. Um, the orange citrus, although it is juicy and sweet, it has a little bit of orange peel. The, the, the peeling of an orange also sort of attached. Uh, those of you who have ever eaten an orange, you know what I mean. So uh, you've got that going on there that's sort of, mm, it's a bridge actually between the sweet orange, juicy citrus and all the darker notes. Think of it that way. Well, we're 
about 19 minutes in, about an inch and a half in. And you know that fudge flavor I spoke about earlier, it's more or less changed over to now a brown sugar, which uh, is nice because this the orange citrus is very is a very dominant flavor as far as how is it holding its own against all those darker notes. It's doing quite well. It's doing very well. You have not lost that nice, sweet orange citrus. There's now a little brown sugar attached to it instead of that fudge. The uh, dark chocolate and coffee are quite prominent in their own right, but they do not overwhelm the orange citrus. Um, black pepper is good, not overpowering at about seven, seven and a half. The finish is a little bit of a um, dark chocolate with a little lingering black pepper. A little cream aspect, but predominantly dark chocolate. Cigar is actually is medium bodied. I think we'll stretch toward medium to full after a little bit. But right now, I would just call it medium. It's very nice, though. This is the type of Maduro that um, I tend to like. You have a nice sweet flavor. You have a lot of dark flavors. But they're in somewhat of a balance in that the dark flavors don't overwhelm the sweet notes. In this case, it's a nice juicy orange citrus. Very sweet. And you get plenty of it. So at about an inch and a half or so in... Here we are. Well, I'd say I'm at the midpoint, wouldn't you? Flavors are just about like they were before. The citrus is very good. Dark notes are very good. Neither one overwhelms the other. They actually play very well together. That little orange peel, or orange zest, as some people call it, is uh, still noticeable. Doesn't get in the way, doesn't detract, it's just sort of there. And I like my description of it, it acts as a bridge between the sweet and the dark. Brown sugar adds a lot to the, to the front end flavors because it... it uh, It always benefits citrus when you have a little orange sugar in there. The coffee notes are becoming more prominent. Uh, I would say the cigar is now reaching toward medium to full. Finish is unchanged. It's, it's a little odd, but it's unchanged. So uh, at the midpoint, it's actually very good. Very nice balance of sweet and dark. here in the final third with about two inches remaining right at the main band I've already re removed the lower band that says probable cause the dark chocolate notes and the citrus are the two main flavors you get those right up front the brown sugar is a little more subtle the coffee is holding the base you can't mistake it but it's just not overwhelming at this point pepper remains good Above, at or above average. Might could go medium to full now. And that's really the only change was those two flavors. The flavors are close to balanced, but not quite. The citrus and the, and the dark chocolate are, are definitely the two you get together and the most of. So that's about the only big change, if there is a big change. I still will comment that I like the fact that the sweet and dark flavors are somewhat balanced in that you don't get too much of either one. I'll be back to wrap it up here shortly. Well, we're 
we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Continued with those nice citrus notes, nice, sweet orange citrus. A lot of dark chocolate, a lot of coffee, a little brown sugar. The uh, zest, orange zest, orange peel, seemed to decrease as the cigar went along, but it was still always sort of there, but not in the way. I guess I would give this medium to full body. It's not a very full bodied Maduro. It, uh, it, it just touched the medium to full, in my opinion. The finish had a little more sweetness as the cigar went along. In the final third, it gained a little more sweetness. Uh, as I said before, it was dark, uh, more or less a dark chocolate with a touch of cream. It got a little more cream notes to it. Even some of the citrus filtered over to the finish. This has been another good cigar. Protocol is uh, stacking up to be a force to be reckoned with, in my opinion. The uh, Lancero was amazing. This probable cause Churchill is also very good. I'm rating it a 93. Very good cigar. Very much worth trying. Right in the uh, Maduro wheelhouse that I like in that it has plenty of sweetness and plenty of dark notes. So there you have it. The Protocol Probable Cause Churchill, 93.